Michael here. I'm going to show you how to draw this cartoon dog. Go ahead and start with a circle for the dog's body. And then go ahead and we're going to have another circle. It's going to fit somewhere right about there. Just barely coming outside of the body circle. So the head's fairly low there on the body. And a little line for the ground and a couple of ovally circles there. And I guess those would be ovals. Those will serve as the paws. Alright, now right across there, that's where we're going to draw some triangles. And those are going to be the ears. Yeah, let's change that a little bit. We'll cut that up like that. So there you've got two triangles. Those will become the ears. Just simple shapes. Let's find the middle of the face. Let's see, right about down here, go ahead and draw yourself a nose. Don't worry if it's a little high or a little low. A couple of nice big eyes, draw some circles there. Now, let's do a tail. Um, that's just behind his head. It's not coming out of his head. That would be a little weird. Now, flatten out the bottom of those paws and go ahead and refine the curve on that. And let's draw a couple of lines for the little splits between his toes. Now let's go ahead and cut in some back paws. And he's coming right along. All right, let's refine this ear a bit. We're going to just go back around that triangle and we're going to sort of round off the top here and round off the bottom and then we're gonna make a little wavy curve right there. Just keep sketching that in until it feels right. Gonna make those ears a little floppy looking. Let's give him some pupils. And uh, just to make him look a little uh, silly, we'll cross those eyes a bit. And now a happy little smile coming from each side of the center there. Great, he's looking really good. Just take a minute and get caught up to that stage. You can pause the video if you need to. All right, so now we're going to take our marker. I'm using a Sharpie. And we'll go ahead and go around the nose. Go ahead and draw in the mouth. Make a nice little smile there, and let's give him a little tongue sticking out, like that. Carefully go around the circles for the eyes. And now the pupils. Shade in most of that, leaving a little white highlight. There we go. Now let's go ahead and do this ear following the adjustments we made. Same thing over here. And now the bottom part of the ear. Do that little curve. Alright, let's do a couple of little furry tufts here and then we'll come around and cut right across there where that tail is and we'll come around the bottom here and join that up just there kind of along the side of the tongue carefully do the arch here on the top of the paws and cut across here for the toes All right, and now we'll do the toes. Puppies have really big paws, and this one has gigantic paws. So he's going to grow up to be a very big dog. And connect that up, and let's do the back paws. Um, 
wanting that to be a little smoother. I'm going to come back and cut in some shadow here. Felt like those toes look too pronounced. So we'll just black that in, put a little shadow underneath here and there, and cut a toe in right there and there. All right, what now? Well, I'm going to get the pencil here, and I'm going to draw a bone. So it's basically a rectangle and a couple of circles on each side. Let's go ahead and go around that. And there we have a little dog bone. All right. Oh, yeah, we got to do that tail. Let's go ahead and go around that. And now um, this dog needs somewhere to live. But before we do that, let's go ahead and draw him some some kind of a furry front there and we'll shade this nose in and after we get that done we'll figure out what's going on in his little world add a couple of freckles a couple of little wrinkles just a couple of little shading marks yeah, he's looking good. Now, let's go ahead and put him on the floor. And let's give him a little dog bowl right here, a little dish of food. We'll draw some tiny little circles in there for dog food. And just in case we are at all confused, let's go ahead and write dog on here so we know that's his food. Great, a little bit of shading under there, a couple of more shading lines underneath his paws, right there underneath the bone, get a little shadow there, and uh, he should be just about ready to color. First we'll need to erase the pencil lines. Using a kneaded eraser, it's a soft gummy eraser. You can get that at your hobby store, your art supply store. All right, let's get some crayons and we will color this dog. I'm starting with a sort of a light orangey brown. Gonna just shade in that fur. Go ahead and shade in the ears. Not worrying about this being totally perfect and covering him because we're going to use other uh, browns to go in there as well. Just work around the head. Go ahead and fill that in. All right. Now we'll do a little darker right here underneath. And uh, also a little darker back there on the back paws. Just indicating some shadow. A little darker here at the bottom of the paws. Between the toes. Just starting to sculpt this out a bit. A little shadow underneath the ears and the head. And right under there we need to do a little shadow right there. Under that ear, a little shadow under the other ear. And let's get the tail a little darker down on one side there. All right, and that uh, that belly still looks too white. We're going to have to deal with that. Let's find a slightly different brown here, and we'll just go ahead and fill that in. Oh, notice I forgot this part right here. Go ahead and shade that in. That was with the first color. And now I'm coming back with the, with the second brown. And then we're going to mix a little bit of brown into the rest of the dog. Uh, get a second color. No, I think we'll skip that. We'll just go ahead and go straight to the blue and do the floor. little brown for the dog bowl. Going to mix a little bit of that darker brown in there to increase the shadows a bit. 
and just mix some of that in. There you go. You see how those multiple crayon colors mix together just give a lot more interest to the drawing. It doesn't look so flat, single colored. You can create some nice depth, nice shape with these different shadings of brown. All right, so he's getting close, but he's not done yet. Um, let's go ahead and color in that tongue pink. And we'll use some of that pink, and we'll start creating a background for him. And I'm just going to very quickly lay down a base color here for the background. And then I'm going to do the other direction. This is a cross hatching. That's going to smooth that out, get rid of some of the crayon lines. And uh, you know, we don't want to stop with just one color. We're going to blend another color into this. So let's grab a purple right here. And we'll do a little shading with that purple. And then we'll do some cross shading. Come in on the other side, do the same thing, first in one direction. And then we'll turn and run in the other direction. And just add a little bit of that purple here for, for shadow. Again, add more interest, more than one color mixed together. All right, are we done yet? Oh, I've got a little bit to do on the bone. I'm just going to use some pencil here and just put a little shading on that bone. And uh, I call this done. So I sure hope you enjoyed drawing this cartoon dog. Please check out our other lessons. Be sure to subscribe and leave us some comments below. Share it with your friends and have a great day.